Good morning, guys. I'm glad all my friends are here today. I hope you're enjoying your day. Today is Tuesday, November 9th. At 6.19 a.m. Central Daylight Time, there was a magnitude 3.0 earthquake near Gibson, Kansas. Only four people reportedly felt this earthquake, but there's been more earthquakes since then, which USGS is not reporting. Right here is that magnitude 3.0. Yeah, it came in a little bit later than what they're saying. Uh, we got another one right here at 1033 Universal. There's another one right here. This one very well could be from Nicaragua. And then we got another earthquake right there at 1201 and 35 seconds about Universal time. Before this, there was another earthquake that was picked up on the monitors. That one, too, could have very well been from Nicaragua. Let me pull this up so you can see it. There we go. This monitor here comes from the Kansas State University. And it's not showing anything within these three hours. But I'll go back about another four hours. And you will see this earthquake right here. Um, there's another one right before it, and we got another one right there. Let's extract that so we can see the time. Um, 12.32, got a very small P wave on it. And let's go to this other one. Let me pull it down so you can see it. that one right there let's extract that see the exact time um 12 12 universal and we'll go up to this one right here and extract it um 10 44 universal and we'll go back another four hours on this monitor okay this one here that time is 643. It's got a very long P wave on it. The P wave is the first signature of the earthquake. That's why I'm saying it very well could be um, the one in Nicaragua. I'll do a report on that later and then we'll go back another four hours. Okay, and over here, you can barely see it. Right there. Um, 309 okay they're extracted it more that's locally uh 311 universal time that is a local earthquake that one is not being reported and you know what got me looking at this was the seismic signature interesting too is my cats kept waking me up last night jumping on me I told them I was going to have revenge today and wake them up during the day while they're sleeping. But I had a dream last night that my daughter was over here at the house, standing in the kitchen getting a cup of coffee, and she said to me, Mom, I just felt an earthquake. And here we have this at um, uh, 619 this morning. So going back to this earthquake at... Um, Three whatever universal time here it says 259 we'll look at the uh, spectrogram and then we'll go to the one that occurred this morning at 619 I'm getting to what I was looking up and what I found which I thought was interesting yeah volcanic tremors I thought why would I be seeing volcanic tremors there in the northeastern part of Kansas well, evidently, there is some ancient volcanoes there in Kansas. But more than likely, these earthquakes are caused by fracking. And I found another little bit of information. It's about the fracking, the injection of wastewater into the ground thousands of feet below the surface, and how they cause earthquakes. And here it says that for one barrel of oil to be extracted there in Kansas. They have to dispose 16 barrels of wastewater. 
16 barrels of water for every barrel of oil they get. This paper is from 2016 and it basically focuses on Oklahoma and fracking induced earthquakes, which they're doing here. So going back to the volcano. Okay, over here I have drawn out in yellow the Humboldt or Humboldt uh, fault zone. This uh, red line is probably like the center of it. But this is an extension of the Mid-Continent Rift System. And up over here by Manhattan City, they found what was called kimberlites. And these kimberlites were um, exploded, literally exploded out of the ground uh, millions of years ago because of tubes um, coming up. And they didn't, the lava didn't flow out like, you know, slow moving lava like we're, we're seeing lately. But they came up and exploded. The ground exploded, throwing out these timber, kimber lights, excuse me, which is also found with diamonds. And diamonds are really rare there in Kansas. So they found three areas recently of volcanic activity. One of them was right over here I marked it out and then this magma lava field or where these tubes were at I couldn't find the other two locations of the other volcanoes but the uh, kimberlites go all the way down here to Manhattan City and if you look at Manhattan City and the shape of the ground does that not look like a volcanic crater. Let me zoom in a little bit more. The largest earthquake ever recorded there in Kansas was in 1867, a magnitude 5.1. Um, 2014, I think it was. Let me come out. There was, yeah, down over here. I think this is it. No, that's not it. Oh, over here. In 2014, they had a magnitude 4.9. Right along this failed rift system of the mid-continent um, rift. I've talked a lot about this mid-continent rift system. This failed rift system that seems to be reactivating. The yellow line is uh, how wide probably the Humboldt fault system is. Yeah. So going up back up to the recent earthquakes there we go yeah 3.0 there was also um let's see uh, a 2.6 that they downgraded to a 2.5 a 2.8 that they downgraded to a 2.6 and yeah right over here let's see i believe these are the uh, oil and gas platforms yeah, 16 barrels of wastewater. They're, they're pumping into the ground, thousands of feet into the ground, uh, to get just one barrel of oil and gas. Yeah, and then I think about um, prophecies of the Bible, how the earth is going to end in fire. Yeah, and these uh, volcanoes and the signature of these earthquakes, which was interesting too. And there's the town of Gypsum right over there. So what are your thoughts? Please put those comments down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.